Congratulations, Easter holidays is now over and you have wasted all of your Easter holidays doing nothing. And now you want to quickly get good at paper two. So watch this video and you'll learn how to do better in paper two, especially those programming questions. The most common question I always get is that how do I get better at programming? How do I get better at those questions that come up in paper two, which ask you to write a pseudocode algorithm or something along those lines? So you're in good luck. Well, in this video, we're going to be covering how you can do that in three simple steps. And before we dive straight in, I need to tell you that this is not something that you just do overnight and you'll get better at. This is something that requires some time. This is a skill. This is not something like English that you can just waffle on. It requires a skill, just like how footballers need to practice in order to get better at uh, certain moves, certain skills. It's similarly, in this, you just have to practice, 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 and you'll get better. So step one, how are you going to practice without knowing the contents? So I've created this playlist, which you can go find, link in the description, which goes through everything that you need to know about Python. First, the 30 minute video that goes through every single basic thing you need to know for your GCSEs. Number two is a 2D array um, video that goes through everything you have to know about 2D arrays. And the last one is file handling, which is a common um, thing that students don't understand. Once you've learned it, step two is to actually apply it. And how can you apply it? Well, go on my website. That is the best resource you can go to at this point. So go to it and scroll down where it says Python resources. There you find a booklet which has questions ranging from easy all the way to hard. And if you can do all of them, I guarantee you'll be able to get those pseudocode questions correct. Believe me, I guarantee you, you're going to get it right. So be sure to check it out and do those uh, questions without looking at the mark scheme. I was not planning to put a mark scheme, but as requested, I have uploaded the mark scheme there. So again, if there's any particular one that you want me to go over, you can press the request a topic button that is on the top right. Um, press that, fill out the form and I see. Step three is to now actually get yourself on the field and start playing some football with some real teams. That is when exam practice comes in. And you may ask me, well, where do I get the exam questions from? There's no exam questions online. Well, I've separated all of them into topics. Go on my website. It says topic wise questions at the top and it has every single question that, you, that has ever come up on the GCSE OCR spec. Again, past paper exam questions. This is the best bet if you want to achieve that grade nine paper two, because most people, they tell me in paper one, I'm getting a grade nine, but paper two, I'm getting a grade two. So for that, I've told you three steps, all it takes, and not one day before. Start now. I know you've been wasting your Easter holidays watching and playing um, Fortnite and all of that. So yeah, stop wasting your time. Your exams are less than 30 days. What are you going to do when you get that paper and, and you see a two and then you show it to your parents? Like, come on, I'm telling you now, I've, I've literally given all the resources out there all for free. Go on the website. I just want you guys to do well and get that grade nine. And yeah, hope everyone does well. And these are the three things that you need to know. So yeah, this was a quick video and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.